Hey the gamers, I know it's been a minute since I've released a fast forward, but uh, moving on, I'm looking to do more of these type of videos. So if you guys have any suggestions with regards to any future potential title, series or sequel, let me know in the comments below. If it is selected, I'll give you guys a bit of a shout out. But um, yeah, for this video, I wanted to give a shout out to Denzi Dragon for giving me this fast forward suggestion with regards to the Project Cross Zone series. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy this one and look, if you do, if you do like this video, please consider leaving a like, subscribe and all that good stuff. But again, thank you for all of the support lately. Um, yeah, let's get it. I'm all for some cool gaming crossovers, though I'm still not too sure how I feel about that Street Fighter Cross Tekken one. Look, it's a pretty cool time to be a gamer and it feels like more and more of these big wig AAA studios are starting to listen to the community. But this same could not be said for, you know, that day's gone to sequel. Anyway. Cheers for that one, Sony. But let's talk a bit about Project Cross Zone series. You guys remember those 3DS games? Dang, it's been a minute, man. I used to love these games, and I bet most of you guys as well. So things just kind of died down for the series after that second game's release back in 2013. And, um, you know, I often still think back to Namco Cross Capcom, you know, that 2005 tactical RPG for the PS2. And, Although the game lacked on many areas, especially from a story perspective, it was still a fun game to play back in the day and, you know, it just didn't live up to its potential. I guess this is where its spiritual successor, the Project Cross Zone series, comes in. Sure, it was only on the 3DS, but dude, it packed punch, pun intended, and featured many beloved characters from franchises owned by Namco, Capcom, Sega, and a few guests from Nintendo. I'm a big fan, and I'm sure since you've clicked on this video, I think it's safe to assume that you guys are sitting in the same camp as well. So uh, let's talk a bit about the possibility of a third game for current gen gaming. Discuss some high level story ideas, new mechanics and possible additions to the roster. The story for Project Cross Zone or PXZ is already quite insane. Characters from different franchises coming together to save the world. But things were a bit all over. Both games relied heavily on the characters to create any resemblance of a narrative while missing something more meaningful beyond a simple which is out here saving the world thread. Okay, look, Project Cross Zone 3 wouldn't need to abandon the craziness altogether, but it can at least have a more focused story. Giving each character real connection to the game's big bad would, you know, help provide a sense of cohesion. One cool possibility would be to have a parallel universe version of a recognizable villain like M. Bison has become immensely powerful. Perhaps he could also in some way work together with Ganon. Or even better, evil versions of hero characters. Thinking about the likes of Mega Man Dark Soul, Evil Ryu, Bayonetta, and even Dark Link. <laughs> it might be a challenging type of story to pull off, but man, if there's a way to link it all together, it might just be something more gamers will buy into. Also, they need to make the chapters way less with shorter, and more intense tactical battles. Project Cross Zone is all about partnering up unlikely characters with each other, so uh, what better way to up the insanity than to allow us to create our own character pairs. Both of the previous games locked in our character pairings, which was fun, but things could go on a whole new level if we could mix and match our teams as we like as we're working through the chapters. Beyond that, the game could give us more options for powerful attacks and finishers, drawing from the Tekken universe. I mean, the game could feature rage mechanics, which could make attacks more powerful, you know, the lower the team's health is. It would also be quite cool if the game featured summons, Final Fantasy style. Imagine calling a Rathalos from Monster Hunter to swoop in, for a big damage attack. And since Bandai Namco is also responsible for Gundam games, having a few of those iconic mechanics featured as summons would also be pretty cool. Of course, Project Cross Zone 3 would not be complete without new characters to play as. Yes, we want to continue to see characters from classic franchises such as Resident Evil and Tekken, but how about some new characters and pair units from newer franchises like Monster Hunter and Tales of series? Perhaps Bayonetta, even Klonoa can make an appearance. Or perhaps the charms of a not so well-known character like Beautiful Joe might just leave a mark. Point is, the possibilities are endless and it doesn't have to stop with just three featured franchises either. Imagine a Project Cross Zone and Super Smash Bros crossover. Now, we could definitely also see characters from 
Final Fantasy and other Square Enix properties take the stage. And given the bottomless amount of anime properties Bandai Namco has on its belt, it's definitely not a shortage of characters to pull from. Look, the Project Cross Zone games, with its many quirks, were cool games, with fantastic soundtracks and we would definitely like the series to continue on in some capacity. I know it's a long shot since the 3DS is no longer in production, but that doesn't mean that it has to be the end of the series. I really believe that there's strong potential and definitely a demand, so uh, you know, or even at least just re-releasing the first two ones as a package or you know, perhaps add some DLC for the Switch, Xbox or PS5, but whatever it takes. Maybe it's just mostly the nostalgia talking here, but uh, but okay, enough from me, on to you guys. What would you like to see in a possible Project Cross Zone 3? Got any characters on your wish list? As always, sign up in the comments below. Thank you so much for all the support lately, and until next time, see ya.